If the unimaginable happens and your home is destroyed, would you know what to do next? With natural disasters becoming more common due to climate change, here's Nina Pineda with seven moves to make before and after a tragedy. Happy birthday to you. One minute you're singing happy birthday in your kitchen, the next you're sifting through ashes where the table was. She's like, your house is burning down, it's on fire. The unexpected, a total loss. Recently hit two families that Seven on Your Side helped hard. It's mind blowing that we did everything right. April and John Chantangelo kept their important documents in a fireproof lockbox, but it didn't survive the water to put their West Milford house out. When the Palmietto's home in Mohegan Lake caught on fire, they had a hard time replacing daily prescription drugs for both sons. A fire and waterproof box like these are a good investment. Before locking in documents, take photos, make copies of things like passports, licenses, social security cards, baptism and marriage forms, birth and death certificates, or naturalization papers. Email yourself and hold hard copies at a secure location away from home. Should you experience a total loss, it's also imperative to show damages in detail. Videotape the entire structure. I can tell you the videos and pictures have helped my clients dramatically get increased offers because the, first, the person who well documents their claim will get the most money. Phil Maltagati's a public insurance adjuster, feels advice to homeowners after a tragedy, call your insurance company and review your entire policy. Know what you're entitled to. Get estimates in writing from experts before submitting a claim. And it's just as important to know the value of what you have before a disaster. There's a lot of what I call guesstimating. Everyone's guessing, mating, uh, <laughs> what the actual value of the loss is. Um, and and then sometimes the true value is actually just ex and industry experts. And here's your checklist for inventory. When you take photos, make sure you store them somewhere safe, maybe on the cloud in case your phone is damaged. And video is also best. Go through room to room and narrate, describing each item that you're seeing. Try to keep receipts on big ticket purchases, especially like appliances, television, tech. Email them to yourself. But if you didn't save any receipts, here's a great tip. Go to your order history on Amazon or wherever you shop online. All of these will help ensure that your claim will be much smoother. Need to